Hey Joe, it's everyone here. If you are someone that is just starting print on demand or if you're someone that has not made a lot of sales yet, there's a good chance you should be looking for a low competition print on demand product to sell. Especially as interest in print on demand is growing, you can see here the five year trend on Google Trends for print on demand as a search term. At this point, most people, including me, are branching out from traditional print on demand products like t-shirts or mugs, seeing as though they have kind of dominated over the last five years or so you can see tons of different Shopify stores that are flooded with these products and Etsy search results as well. Here is a blog post that is titled 95 print on demand statistics and trends that you should know. We're going to be looking at this today. I will put a link to this in the pinned comment of this video if you wanted to check it out. Inside they review a ton of awesome print on demand statistics. Obviously print on demand is booming. So a article like this is pretty cool to go through. If we scroll down here, I think one of the coolest parts of this article is where it talks about growth in the print on demand industry. We can see that in the year 2022, the global print on demand market was valued at just over $5 billion. And over the next eight years or so, we're gonna have a compound annual growth rate of 26%, which leads to a projection of about $39 billion by the year 2031. And if you're doing some math, that is an almost eight times growth over the next seven or eight years. As a print on demand seller myself, that is definitely something that makes me excited. And here on Printify's Instagram, they made a post about the same thing that I was just talking about. They're talking that print on demand is going to grow to about 38 billion by the year 2030. But the key here, especially for this video, is what they said about the home decor market being the quickest growing segment of the year. Let's keep reading here. The home and wall decor market statistics are showing us that the global home decor market reached $682 billion in the year 2021. If we continue to scroll down, they have some cut custom wall art search interest showing on the screen. And they're also showing that this whole industry by the year 2027 is going to reach $898 billion. One cool thing as well is they said the key driver of this is premium products. And that's kind of what we're gonna break down in this video today. I have wall canvases here. I have this brand new print on demand product here, which is a custom framed tapestry. We have metal print on demand signs like this. And we also have print on demand wall clocks like this. These are all all products that I have covered here on the channel. The only one that is new is this one right here, which we will break down in a moment. I'll show you the supplier of it. I'll also show you some print on demand stores that are selling this item. This is a sample that was sent to me. They requested a high resolution photo. That is why you have a headshot of me on there. I and mean, I think the quality is quite nice. But like I said, we'll come back in a moment and I'll break down exactly where you can get that from. And obviously print on demand is much bigger than wall decor. If you want to see some of the other print on demand product reviews that I've done, make sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel. And if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training from me, make sure to check out my course. It is completely free. Inside, you're going to get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to build your print-on-demand store. There is a link down in the description. Like I said, it is completely free to sign up and watch right now. So in a moment, I'm going to show you the supplier for this item. I just wanted to show you a few stores that I found selling this. This one here is selling it for $59.99. The supplier that I'm going to show you has it for just $20, which means this is definitely a high profit print on demand product. We also have this store here that is doing something a little bit different. Again, they're selling it at $49.99, which is awesome. We also have this store here again at $49.99 and this store here, which is also selling it at $49.99. Those were obviously Shopify stores that I just pulled up. I also found a lot of listings on Etsy as well, which shows that this product definitely could be trending. Over the past few weeks, I've also been making some videos showing what you can create with AI. I went into ChatGPT and got it to generate me this image here. Now, obviously, this is not a print ready file or anything like that. However, this is something that we could use as an idea to ultimately create our own designs. This design here was created off of a prompt that I asked ChatGPT to make me an image for a canvas like this that is for a religious family. So we could go in here, we could change up some of the text and make it actually ready for print. I also had it generate me this design here for a family that is from Texas. Texas, same thing. There are some issues with the text here. What I'm doing is using AI to just make me the design concept. And lastly, I have this image here that is for a military family. Again, basically there are tons of different applications for this product and you could sell it the same way that you sell normal wall art. The key though, like I said, is here in the blog article, they talked about how the driver of these sales in the wall decor market is the introduction of premium products. I think as time goes on, we will continue to see more awesome stuff 
stuff from different print-on-demand providers. We've already seen really cool canvases, posters, tapestries, wall clocks, and even the metal wall signs. And now we have these wood-framed wall tapestries. Inside of Printify here, if I just type in wall, we can see that we have dozens of different items. If we get all the way to the bottom, you can see that there's actually four pages of wall-related products. Everything from posters and canvases to tapestries and even the wall clocks like I showed you before. I actually have this video here where I did a product review of the wall clock. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel. If you want to see me make a video where I build a hypothetical print-on-demand brand specializing in selling wall clocks, type the word clock down below. I've recently been thinking about starting a new store and one of the ideas I have is to create a superstore that sells personalized wall clocks for lots of different niches. And again, if you want to see me do that, type the word clock down in the comments below. Right here is the supplier that I got the wood framed wall tapestry from. It is called Shine On. They do have a Shopify app which you can install directly onto your Shopify store. They have this tapestry in two different shapes. They have a long or tall rectangle and they also have a wider option here. The one that I have, which again I'll show you the quality of in a few moments, is the tall rectangle. You can see that this product costs just $20.77 and they have a recommended selling price of $49.99. And if you're doing math on that, you will see that the profit on this item is really good. If you are starting POD in the year 2024 and beyond, profitability of your products should be the top thing that you are concerned about. If we click into the product here, we can see some details about the item. They have a description here for you with some different mock-ups of the product and they show a diagram showing how big it is. This is all great stuff that you can put directly onto your store once you publish one of their products. They even have this template here that you can download and open in your graphic design software to begin making your design. You can see here they list out the total recommended size, the recommended resolution as well, and obviously if you are designing this, you're going to want to make sure that you stay inside of this purple safe area. Anything that you include in your design that's outside of that safe area is not going to be included in your design. As I was scrolling Printify as well, I did find this pennant option here. Not the same thing, but it is definitely close. You can see that this option here does feature an all-over print design. They have the wooden beam across the top with the nylon thread holding it onto the wall. Maybe in the future I will get a sample of that as well and show it to you here on the channel. So let's talk quality of this item. First and foremost, you can see here that the print quality on this is absolutely awesome. Like I said, they requested a high resolution photo of me, so I sent them a headshot that I had done at a family portrait session. And you can see here that the print is super sharp. You can even see some of my receding hairline here. And obviously, if you are selling something like this that is gonna be marketed as a premium item, you are gonna wanna make sure that you can print with high quality print. And this definitely delivers on that. Up top, we have a nice beam of wood here. This is real wood, so definitely when we're talking premium item, this definitely fits the bill. We then have this nylon rope here that hangs it on the wall. And again, this is a real nylon rope. It definitely has that rustic feel. This here feels kind of like a shower curtain if I was to describe it. And again, it is definitely a premium product because of that print quality there. The wood beam across the bottom, just like at the top, is in fact a real piece of wood. Actually, you know what? I don't know if this is manufactured wood or not. So I'm not gonna call it real wood. I might have to go back and look at the description again. It certainly looks like real wood though. We can see different grains. It is smooth. It is nice. This is a really, really nice item. Obviously, like I said before, framed canvases like this are also a cool option. I've reviewed these several times here on the channel, so go check that out if you want to see canvases a little bit more up close. And of course, the print-on-demand metal sign is also a great product. I reviewed this a lot here, so I'm not going to go in depth on this today. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you are someone that is just getting into POD or if you're someone that doesn't have the sales that you really want yet with your store. One of the biggest things you can do is get a little bit more creative with your product choices. A lot of people out there right now are making videos about how to find low competition niches or how to sell things that are sort of unsaturated in terms of the design. What I would more so recommend, and this is something that I've personally had a lot of success with, is to actually just seek out low competition products rather than avoiding some of the really good niches, even if they are quite popular. My point is this, if you are selling to really passionate and popular niches, such as the military or different things like Christianity or even teachers or nurses and stuff like that, yes, they are 
typically going to be a little bit more popular. But if you choose a more low competition product, like some of the things I have shown you today, you could cut through some of that saturation and find success. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to go through my course, it is completely free. Inside, there's over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you the entire process to build out your print-on-demand store and to get started selling your products on social media. There is a link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.